Hello everybody and welcome to Tech in 5 Minutes. Today we are talking about the differences between ASP.NET versus ASP.NET Core. Watch this video until the end to reveal our use cases when ASP.NET must still be used. On our channel, we share thoughts on recent developments in the tech industry. Subscribe not to miss new videos. So, both platforms, ASP.NET and ASP.NET Core, derive from .NET, its simple in usage, Microsoft-built framework. Let's clear out some common misunderstandings. ASP is a server-side scripting language and engine for dynamic web pages. ASPs are typically used for the backend of a web application. In its turn, ASP.NET is a server-side web application framework designed for web development to produce dynamic web pages. Keep watching to get the answers to the most common questions about ASP.NET and ASP.NET Core. So, are ASP.NET and ASP.NET Core the same? ASP.NET was the first version of the web-adapted .NET framework, but ASP.NET Core is a newer, more improved version. Actually, a .NET framework itself underwent the same transformation, so now there are two tools, .NET Core and .NET Framework. We highly recommend checking out the article, A Complete Guide to Microsoft.NET Framework. The link is in the description. Now it's time to compare ASP.NET Core and ASP.NET. Watch further to see if Core is better. Right now, let's zoom in on both frameworks' technical characteristics. ASP.NET is based on HTTP protocol for requests and communication. ASP.NET shares most of its key components with .NET. Among them are support of multiple languages, Library, as ASP.NET provides reusable code components, interfaces, classes, and values for .NET-based web development, and language runtime. Among the main benefits of ASP.NET, we define security and access control, fewer lines of code, more functionality, built-in HTML generator, support of multiple languages, real-time Windows server monitoring, garbage collection and security alerts, the built-in caching system, and separation of the application of internal logic and content. Now let's take a look at ASP.NET Core, a newer version that runs on .NET Core. It is a modular web framework. ASP.NET Core is available open source and can be executed not only on Windows, but also on Linux and Mac. It is a great option for cloud and microservices development. Among benefits of using ASP.NET Core are clear structure, Features are structured in views and controllers. Developers can organize functionality by feature folders, create separate areas. The next benefit is filters. You can easily track middleware and duplication by assigning filters that would detect unwanted characteristics and clean up the code base. You won't believe it, but ASP.NET Core can be hosted in Docker, HTTP.sys, Apache, Kestrel, IIS, NGINX, and other systems, so it's a great option for cloud and microservices development, especially well-suited for enterprise-level projects. Now let's look at ASP.NET versus ASP.NET Core, side-to-side -side comparison. ASP.NET Core is a cross-platform, while ASP.NET supports Windows only. ASP.NET Core has better performance and stricter control over dependencies. It supports both .NET Framework and .NET Core. ASP.NET, however, supports a variety of files, including WCF, WebConfig, and others. The core version is better in terms of modular support and optimization for cloud development. When it comes to Visual Studio support, ASP.NET supports all versions, while Core works with those released after 2015. Overall, the major advantage of ASP.NET is the maturity of the ecosystem. ASP.NET Core, on the other hand, stands out with its improved interface and cross-platform compatibility. So, like we promised at the beginning, we will share use cases for each of them. ASP.NET Core obviously is a better choice for new project development. We also use it for enterprise projects for its better isolation and modularity. If your project has many dependencies, ASP.NET Core can help you solve the issues faster. Do you see the point in using ASP.NET? Share your thoughts in the comments section. Actually, in some cases, the older ASP.NET can work better. We still use it when supporting projects with a codebase that's developed over a long time. 
and in case the team isn't ready for migration because of higher priority tasks. So, the best practice is to use ASP.NET Core, since it's a new version that presents more opportunities to the team. This video was prepared by the Jelvix team. We provide software development, UI UX design, and testing services to top brands worldwide. Find our contact details in the description box. We share our experience and the latest insights of software development, so make sure to subscribe not to miss a single video. And don't forget to like this video and press the bell button. Bye for now.